Okay, so hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one to do a cook off challenge in the woods. Alright, so uh, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, this isn't the original intro. Um, the original intro I filmed in the woods with Daniel earlier on today and uh, forgot to turn the microphone on. Um, so yeah, I'll just overlay that now. And basically, in that intro, <laughs> in that intro, I detail what this video is all about. Um, so it was about me and Daniel going out and uh, having a bit of a cook off. Um, and letting you guys vote on who wins um, So yeah, go ahead and watch the rest of my video Let me know what you think about it And then go over across and watch Daniel the English Woodsman's video Let me know what you think about his And uh, Merry Christmas one and all Thanks very much to everybody that supported the channel for All throughout this entire 2020 ridiculous year uh, So thanks very much so far Merry Christmas and I'll see you all again soon Right, so I've just brought it, well, I've just made like myself a little fire pit uh, to get going. Um, so yeah, this is it. So I'm going to get everything else sort of prepped now and then show you exactly what I'll be cooking. Right, so there's my fire going. I'm going to get that uh, roaring uh, while I prep my food. Uh, I'm not going to lie though, I've cheated using fire cubes as you can see there and a lighter.
Uh, no, I won't have any I've got uh, a big mushroom on go already. Right, well now you can see it's all cooking, obviously you can see what I'm going to be uh, attempting to pull off. So obviously we've got the 800 gram of steak uh, right in the middle. To the left in the foil parcel are potatoes, onions, uh, tomato, uh, a bit of oil and some salt and pepper. To the right in the baking tray is some camembert and a portobello mushroom with some uh, red onion and tomato in there as well so yeah as you can see the uh, steak is sizzling on the slate so going nicely so just while the uh, steak's cooking away there I've moved the foils down now a little bit into the oven so to speak and I've just dropped a little bit of water in there because here I'm gonna have a hot chocolate with mine as well yeah so I'm gonna show you step by step how I'm making that as well so first of all, the uh, I've just got a, a dribble of water in the bottom and I'm just going to melt some white chocolate buttons in the bottom. That should be enough. Let them melt. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some more water and some hot chocolate. Alright, so I've moved my uh, hot chocolate cup down. And if you can see that, the white chocolate with just a drizzle of water, all melted now. There. So now I'm going to add a bit more water in. If I can open my bottle. That's got it. So yeah, a bit more water. Bit of ash for flavour by looking at it as well. <laughs> and then put one of these to add in, one of the options mint dark chocolate ones. So it's like a white and hot chocolate mix. And there we go, add that in. Give it a shake. I've got my spoons somewhere in my cook set. So white and hot chocolate mixed. Put my lid back on for a bit. Let's have a look at this steak. Steak seems to be going well. I think I do need to stoke my fire up a bit though, because we are still looking 
rather pink. Now I do like it rare, uh, but I don't want it mooing while I'm still eating it. So I'm gonna give that a bit more. My slate's now cracked. I don't know if you can see. I've managed to hold it together though. Uh, the crack starts here and it comes out here. So I've managed to hold it together at the minute. So we'll uh, carry on regardless. I've just took my steak off while the uh, vegetables catch up. So there's camembert in the middle there. And then I've just taken all them out of tin foil. Taken my hot chocolate out, don't worry, I'm not drinking out of that cup. So we'll just uh, swap over now. What do you reckon to that? First time I've attempted this. You can see the white chocolate that I've just thrown in there. Melting into it now. Marshmallows on top. Oh, I've got to sprinkle the other one. And then I brought a second hot chocolate just to sprinkle over the top, so I'm gonna do that now. Right, so I think it's time to serve. So I'm obviously going to get my uh, meat off first. And then we're going to get this uh, tray of vegetables off. One by one. Onion, tomato, and then uh, lastly, the camembert. Right then, so let's have a look, see if I've got this camembert right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right. Just get a bit off one in there from fork. So, nice, lovely bit of steak dipped in this camembert. Look at that. Look at that people. Steak dripped in camembert. Exquisite. Mm. This is phenomenal. Oh, let's try a bit of tomato. Right there, we? there. Dip that in as well. Oh. Mm. This is why I love food. And some of these uh, 
sliced fried potatoes. Dip that in as well. Mm. Potatoes are a bit undercooked but still beautiful. And I've got all this to wash down with my festive hot chocolate. Mm. Beautiful. Got a bit. Right, bring you back shortly. Still there, tucking in. This is absolutely exquisite and the steak is cooked to perfection for me. This is the outer edges. Absolutely phenomenal. So the camembert, it's the first time I've attempted it outside. Oh look at that. You see it? This is exquisite, literally. Just shows you don't have to go to these Michelin restaurants to get a decent meal. All this cooked in the woods. Oh. Now I don't want to let this beat me. It's a lot of meat, this 800 gram of steak. I don't want to let it beat me, but even I know my limits sometimes. So. I'm going to have to know when to call it quits. I've still got um, a few videos that I need to be doing. Still got the uh, two item survival challenge coming up. And it looks like uh, Tarp and Knife have won that, the polls that I put out in the group, so thank you very much if you took the time to vote on them. Um, I'll get that video done as soon as possible, with it being Christmas obviously, it's a time for families and things like that, so uh, we are limiting what we're doing over Christmas, but we'll be out again soon. And then I'll get that uh, two item survival one done, um, and obviously tag the person that I uh, want to tag in that as well. Beautiful. Oh. But yeah. Um, again, I want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you guys out there that have liked the challenge, uh, liked the channel, uh, subscribed to the channel. You know, watched all the videos. You know, it's for me. This is a hobby. Um, coming out to the woods and for. I'm getting messages at the moment saying that I'm inspiring people to get out, so thanks for that. It really is sort of heartwarming. Um, I've met a lot of new friends as well on YouTube. Um, a lot that do YouTube channels, a lot that don't do YouTube channels, and just follow us and just get talking to you. But this has been a phenomenal year for me, and it's uh, just gone the anniversary of me and Daniel on our first camp, which was yes, oh, excuse me, yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, what a phenomenal year I've had. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to vote, um, either myself or Daniels, who's just over to my right at the minute. <laughs> um, he has had a few things go wrong in his, so sympathy vote for Daniel. <laughs> but yeah, um, don't forget, go on to the videos, both of them. Watch mine, watch Daniels. And then let us know which one you prefer. And for now, Merry Christmas. Like the video, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And see you in the next one.